No Lionel Messi because he was busy in uh, the Coupe de France priorities. But of Argentina course. beat Colombia 1-0. World Cup qualifying. Thanks to a goal from Lautaro Martinez. Jules, some are skeptical. They don't show Lionel's love. But Argentina haven't actually lost a game since the semifinal of the 29 Copa America, which is pre-pandemic. Yeah, it is pre-pandemic. I think Scaloni has done a really, really good job in the sense that they are a much better organized team and much better structured team than before. They're solid, of course, and they will always... Uh, I think it's much easier to make your team solid defensively than, than the, 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 the most exciting to watch and entertaining to watch. But I, th I think they showed that they can play really well with Messi, without Messi collectively. Don't just rely on him, give him the ball and then nothing happens, yeah. no movement, nothing. And I think that's been really promising before, before the World Cup. Brazil beat up Paraguay 4-0 to stay top of South American qualifying. Jules, Coutinho, Rafinha, mm. they're going from strength to strength. Yeah, yeah, they were really good in that game. Okay, the opposition, I give you that, we're not very good. Uh, but with a lot of rotation from from Tichy, changing if, you know a few players and stuff, they they were very very interesting. I think the way they played, he's got a lot of options that he can people he can play mm. in midfield deeper, the wide players, even as a center center forwards. And there was obviously no Neymar, for example, and, and others. So very very promising. There's this lovely nutmeg from Vinicius and then diagonal uh, <laughs> to switch the play. Absolutely outstanding. So well done to to Brazil, uh, who still I think can beat the record of the most points ever in a World Cup uh, qualifier for South America. Meanwhile, Gab, the Diego Alonso era continues his bright start for Uruguay, uh, who beat Venezuela 4-1. We saw goals from Cavani, from Suarez, a wonder strike from Bentanco in the first minute of the game as well. And a great performance from a Manchester United player. That's right. And that, that, well, first of all, Bentancur's goal, it was straight yeah. at the start. It was, I mean, it was a tremendous strike. Um, yeah, a Manchester United player many had forgotten. Facundo Pellistri. Right. And they would be right to forget. I mean, the guy, the kid has never played for them. Yeah, he's, he's been at Alaves unknown, hasn't even played that much. No. But yeah, he played on the right. He had a couple tremendous oh, runs. So he looked good. like Cafu. Yeah. Now, I realize it's only Venezuela. Yeah. But, you know, people talk about, and I, I think, I don't know that he always plays on the right. I think sometimes he plays in the middle for, um, uh, for Alaves. But, but yeah, he he's looks quick. way out for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's also, he's, dude has big hair. By the way, I, I never... I, He's got a good I, style. I, yeah. You know, a really good style. Uh, big win for Chile, Jules, uh, who get three points away to Bolivia. Mm. Now, Peru only drew at home to Ecuador. So it's really, really tight with two games to go. Brazil and Argentina have qualified. Ecuador yeah. guaranteed the playoff spot. So there's really only one automatic place and one playoff left. Yeah. Let me tell you the points. Uruguay, 22. Peru, That's 21. Right. Chile, 19. Colombia, 17. Two games to go. Who you got? Uh, it's going to be fascinating because Uruguay play play Peru, for example, and then you've got Chile Uruguay game as well to finish to finish off the whole uh, qualifiers. Ecuador could have qualified had they won that game um, on Tuesday and and just got a draw in the end, as we said against Peru. So it's going to be fascinating. Colombia, you have to be worried because there's seven games in a row now without even scoring a goal, let alone winning, just scoring a goal. I assume they're going to run the table because it's Bolivia yeah, at home so and Venezuela away, so points, they go to 23. Yeah, but that's still be. That might it's be touch short. And go. Yeah, exactly. So, incredible. And really we, tough for Chile. We too. mentioned the Diego, yeah, the Diego Alonso for Chile as well. Even if they won uh, in midweek, it's going to be crazy. Two game, like two rounds of games to come, will be quite fascinating. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.